Hey, this is Ricky Kingley Secrets. We're looking at an exciting video. This video is the special Frontoza Changer. We're going to take a look at Changer after the move from the Frontoza colony. And if you haven't seen Changer, understand how special she is, you need to check out this video. So stay tuned. This is Changer, the special Frontoza. You can see that she is very unique. She has a unique pattern on both sides and she is a very rare Frontoza. What makes her special is that out of all the Frontoza I've bred, only one looked like her. And all the Frontozas I've seen on YouTube and in the fish stores, I've never seen one exactly like her. She's very unique. A fish that I am breeding with Whopper, which is an alpha male, and I'll give you a close up of him in just a moment. Now, Changer is already over two years old. She needs a little bit of size on her, but she should be able to be breeding as soon as she puts on a little bit more size. In the past I've had Frontoza's breed at the age of two years old. She's somewhat small, but I believe that she will be breeding soon. Now for those of you who have been watching Changer over the years, when she was in the, with the colony, she was not as white. Her whites were not as showing as distinctively as they are now. I believe that was because of the stress of the territories of the other female Frontosas in the aquarium. Now here is Whopper, the alpha male that I'm breeding her with. And I plan on just having a pair in this Frontosa aquarium to be breeding. There will be no other Frontosas to interfere with the process the amount of food gotten or any territory or aggression it's just a female and a male it's worked out great for me in other breeding experiments with frontosas as well as other African cichlids Kangaroo has gotten a lot more relaxed in here over the last two weeks after the move she comes out and swims and is flirting with Whopper uh, Whopper is also doing some flirtations. They're getting along good. Now you may think that Frontosas are docile fish. That's not always the case. The male can actually kill the female due to aggression. Now the two caves you see behind Changer are very important in any type of Frontosa breeding experiment or breeding program. Uh, they, kept, they keep her in a safe location if the male gets too aggressive. Now Whopper is a pretty relaxed male, but this is just information for any breeding programs that you may have going on in the future. So I want you to stay tuned for more videos by Ricky Kennelly Cichlids and more videos of Changer, the special Frontosa.